Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, The Christian Mechanic. Today I got a uh, picked up set of doll calipers. I've been looking to get a set of these for at home. I got a pair at work, um, I believe they're Pittsburgh, and I got some other ones at work too, but uh, I do have a pair of Pittsburgh ones at home. I mean at work. Anyway, these are six inch. Um, these do, this does metric standard or SAE, the digital display. Uh, the part number is 61585. These are originally $19.99. I believe I seen them on Harbor Freight yesterday. They were on sale for $16.99, so I picked them up. I've been waiting for them to go on sale. Um, these come with a limited lifetime warranty. All the uh, warranty information, I believe, is on the inside of it, the piece of paper on the inside. And it says that it, uh, stainless steel frame, a lockable head, and it says half inch inside and one and three sixteenths outside jaws so these are the jaws here and i guess that's the measurements of them and then it says accurate up to plus or minus um of a thou of one thousandth of an inch or you know 0 0.02 millimeters the batteries are included and uh said the back of it basically it says the same thing on the back these are made in china and we're just going to go ahead and open these up comes in a plastic blow molded uh, blow molded case um, all right and then uh, here's your uh, directions or whatever you want to call it and it goes over what all the buttons do um, instructions on how to turn it on and off um, here's your warranty information over here on this piece of paper um, it comes wrapped Wrapped in this plastic bag here. Got your silicone, silicone packet with it. Um, and then it comes with an extra battery, battery here. It's a 1.5 volt and it already has a uh, 1.5 volt. It already has a battery inside of it. So that's good. It comes with uh, two batteries. And the batteries in these usually last, you know, pretty long. Now we're just going to go over... Some of the features of this, um, you got the battery cover. This is the battery cover down here. I'm not sure what this is up here. You got to uh, pop this off. Actually, this does not pop off. Never mind. I know some of them have a some a port or something you can plug in here. Maybe these because these are the cheaper ones. Uh, you can't plug them in anything. But okay, these are basic. The ones I have at work. See, this one does inches and millimeters. The one I have at work does inches, millimeters, and it'll also um, do a fraction for you, too. So you don't have to convert the inches into uh, a fraction. Uh, and then you got your, your uh, zero button where you can uh, calibrate it uh, for whatever you whatever you need to do. And then here's your, uh, these right here are your uh, inside jaws. Or your outside jaws and these here are your inside jaws you use to measure the inside of something and then on the back of this as you slide it down coming out the bottom here you can this is your depth gauge you can measure you know the depth of something and then also here is your thumb wheel that you uh it's got a gnarled handle on it this is what you use to uh to move it i usually you can use this too but you know the thumb wheel is what it's for so you got your thumb wheel for that and then here's your uh pin uh, if you want to lock it down into position the way it doesn't move around on you um so that's that's what we got here and then you got some readings on the side of the gauge here in case you ever uh your battery ever dies on you at least you'll be able to still read you know a measurement of whatever whatever it is that you're trying to read and you got your uh your millimeters your metric on the bottom and your uh inches on the top or your uh uh, SAE standard uh, whatever you want to call it so we're just going to go ahead I'm going to go and uh, just try them out these are two of the tecton sockets that I had and I just grabbed um, a one inch socket just for e making it easy to uh, measure the inside depth because I I don't have a conversion chart you can go on online and get a conversion chart you now for uh if you want to convert things over to a fraction, but see, so you want this when you when you measure these, you want it to be able to move inside, not tight. If you move nice and free, so this one here, I got one inch, and then I got eight thousandths of an inch. So you got you know you got eight thousandths of an inch 
There you can go and check it in another spot. Right here, I'm getting three thousandths of an inch. That's that's not bad. And then you want to we'll click this thing over to well, right there. It's there. Hit zero it out. We'll zero it out. Then we'll use this to change it over to millimeters. All right. Now we'll measure. This is a, a 24 millimeter socket. And we're just going to go ahead and measure from uh, side to side in here and just see how far. Okay, and we got uh, 13 thousandths. So this is a 13 thousandths difference on the inside of it. So you got a little, you got a little wiggle room. These aren't, the, uh, like I said, that maybe these aren't the tightest of, of sockets. Um, but that's it. I can't really think of any else that we we could uh, we could measure that I got offhand sitting around that we could get an exact measurement off of. But all right, so that's my uh, review of this uh, Harbor Freight digital caliper. This is the six inch digital digital caliper. Uh, like I said, you want to turn it off, you hit the off button. Anyway, uh, everybody, I would like to thank you uh, for watching and just uh, like and subscribe if you want. And uh, just leave a comment if, if you have digital calipers, if you have these, um, have you had any issues with them or anything else? I've used them at work and uh, I'm not doing any machine work at, at work. So I can get, uh, these are great for just for rough estimations. I know they're not super expensive. You know, if you need, you're doing machine work, you, you would want to go ahead and get a nice, a nice set, but you know, for perfect, these are good enough. Uh, everybody so that's it everybody thank you and have a blessed day